so illegal. I don't know. 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 You know, when you said one, you said okay, and then one, two, okay would have, would have been better, because I felt I could feel the smiles on the side. <laughs> Oh, Jackie's standing with Madam. Oh, Jennifer, you're standing in a hole. So, okay. Jennifer is the lead scientist and Angela is the the three people she researched that. So she said, I was on there. So, I was on there. But, I was on there. Did you try? on a beaucoup appris oh, oui, mais c'est euh, vraiment embêtant ah, embêtant il a introduit des mots qu'on est-ce que j'ai le choix de faire une photo pardon oh excusez-moi hey. what we do is we do oh, it so we have yeah, Madame, Madame, Madame Rousseau and, and Madame Karen Rousseau. Jassons and Jeffrey, <laughs> Jeff Smith. Madame Rousseau, est-ce que tu me souviens, me souviens? Le bienvenu et surtout Madame Sauvage et Madame Rousseau qui sont très aimables d'être venus. Ça nous fait un très très grand plaisir. J'espère que tout le monde s'amusera bien ce soir. Merci Claire. Merci Et à la comité qui a organisé. Ah oui, ah oui. Paula a organisé cet événement. Ce dîner, oui, c'est vrai. Il ne manque personne. On n'a pas vu Michel jusqu'à présent qui s'occupait bien des organisations avant de venir. And we took the wrong chain. Which one of us? We must have taken. We must have taken turns wrong. But the thing is, I thought we went to Switzerland. Did you go to Switzerland? Well, I went to Switzerland Christmas. You know, we were talking about snow. Oh, I think you're talking about you and I rented a car. You don't remember this? We went to the south. I've got to get back to it. <laughs> I've got to get back. I think you and I ran in a car. Oh, I remember driving in the school snows. I am so nervous. I swear. You know, I think you have all the cars.
Yeah. Michelle's French. French. Yeah. So knew, what else? What, you you said what, you else, what, else, what else did we do today? You had a whole list. Yeah, we we, we recapped it. But now we went now, to a museum. We went to the Showa what? Museum. Any idea where the Showa? Which is the yeah. the is Paris Paris version of the Holocaust Museum, which is really oh, okay. very well done and very well, very well translated. We just stumbled onto it actually. We just happened on it. We were just walking by. Mm-hmm. We're looking for it. Then we went to Saint Chapelle, which I had never been to. The Palace. I just have such admiration for that generation. You like movies, I like them too. Well, I like movies. Anita Grossman wanted me to tell you how sad she is she couldn't come tonight. Uh, Madame Chevelle now, but we knew her as Anita Grossman. She really wanted to come. Unfortunately, her blood pressure had gotten too high and she had other health issues and couldn't come, but she sends her best. As does Christine Le Marchand, now Smith who actually lives in New York and would be happy to see any of you when you're in New York. Um, but she had intended to come, and at the last minute, various things happened in her family, and, and she, she couldn't come either. So they both asked me if I would please send everybody their best wishes and tell you that they will all both wish you a, a wonderful reunion together. And we send them back. Yeah. Oh. Oh. While we're at it, I, I have um, video here. We were recording everyone's personal statements, and I had a thought that if you wanted to, if you thought it was fun, we could put on Shutterfly some comments to people who weren't here, kind of like a free-for-all, <laughs> like a Quaker meeting, if you have anything to say to someone, or, to, or just expressing some sentiments about the evening, um, we could just do that. Well, I, I'd like to throw out one more thing. I think there are three people here who did not do one of the bio forms, the questionnaires. And I think that the three of you, in, in particular, owe it to us to share this tonight. I'm one of those Yeah, you gotta talk about that. Okay. I did not I did not fill out the form. I didn't really think I probably put it off too long. I played golf obsessively. And so Anyway, I didn't fill it out. I probably have two reasons. One, I play golf obsessively, <laughs> I have to admit. And two, la technologie, le jeune. I think I just couldn't figure it out. So, um, basically, after junior year abroad, I started teaching French. And I taught French my entire career, mostly in Greenwich, Connecticut. So I was fortunate to be in a really great school, wonderful colleagues. Uh, two of them live here at least half the year, one full time. And uh, had just a lot of good luck, I would say, in terms of jobs. And my husband also taught French. He was in a private school in Connecticut and I was in a public school, so we never had the same vacations. <laughs> Twelve years ago, we retired, or I retired, 
and we spent a lot of time in Paris, uh, as most of you know. We, we bought an apartment here, uh, and come uh, a couple of months a year, which uh, I don't know much else. The influence of the program, like, totally, my life is totally different than it would have been had I never come to Paris. It's, I have a lot of French friends. I, I think I live a French life, actually. And now I'm not really interested in Italy and Italian, so I'm learning how to speak Italian. I'll never get to the level of my friends, but at least it's, a, it's an effort. Great French films came out. One was Un homme et une femme. You remember? Yeah, man. And the other was Paris Routil. Remember? Oh, it's Paris Paris. Yeah. In fact, Mitzi and Jennifer and and John Lamont and I went to see that. It's at the together. So I just think that those two films also sort of encapsulate the year that, uh, that we were there. And I know that sometimes when I'm playing, uh, I play a song in your farm. I'm surprised how many people can remember. It's really a good trip. The whole, the whole album is great. That too. And the song is all about it. I love that. I love that. I love that. I want to pass the baton to Jeannie. You have to, because you haven't shared what's happened, your thoughts of the year. I can't think of anything else to share. I mean, everybody shared so much already. I think Yeah. You have two minutes on videotape. I wrote very well. You wrote very well. They all read it. Yeah, thanks. No emails. Crazy things anyway. Yeah. We were 19. We did crazy things. Uh, well, oh, okay, okay, you're, you're still. You just. Where did you I just come from? You. you just spent uh, uh, going to China and Thailand. That's, that's not crazy. You're not doing crazy things. But, but like at Christmas time when we went to Seoul, one night we decided we wanted. We didn't want to go skiing. We took the chairlift up to the middle of the mountain, and we took and my sleds, my and, my and we went down. The, the ski trails on sleds. I mean, they would have hurt her. Yeah, right, Susan right. went off the trail, right. went into a tree. Yeah. But Chris, we don't and do the that. And the chair was wooden. And you got in the, and they put a blanket on And you rode up to Hope's. Yeah, the chair. Yeah. So we don't do things like that anymore. Or at least I don't. But it's sure nice to be with people that I did things like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll remember. Yeah. Just speak up. So, when I left here, and actually, I was jealous all over again of your successes of your exams before going off to Christmas vacation, because I don't remember not only the exams, but perhaps most of the classes. <laughs> when my family, um, now mind you, I had two years of French high school when I came. And my parents said, which was unbelievable for, for them to have said, is if anything has to suffer, let it be your studies. So and it's true in and and so that I remember I think it was right after uh, the holidays, um, I was called in by <laughs> the head, Monsieur Sauvage. Monsieur Sauvage, and that's what I learned what Brumi Noir meant, <clears throat> because I was not exactly, he said, um, Brumi Noir of the group, but basically I think he was telling me that I was. 
<laughs> However, I, I made up for it the, in the summer after because I stayed with a French woman who was, as I think I told you, some of you, very exigent and made me stay up and talk to her while she drove at night into the middle of France um, because she thought it was the safest time to drive because that's when the truck drivers drove. <laughs> so we, we drove and we spoke French and, and, um, and actually I really, that solidified my love of France. It, I, everyone has said this, but it changed my life, it changed me. I found that I, for the first time in my life, could be a person that was separate from my family and from what I grew up with. How I'm looking at Susan and thinking, my memory was so bad and I was so out of it. But it, I think it was possibly your fault too, because you weren't around now that I hear, now that I know about this. Um, I thought she was someone else all this time. <laughs> And it was actually Susan who played the guitar, and I was so jealous of her because even though I played, you know, the Mary, Peter, Paul, and Mary, and the, and the, oh God, what were they, the, you know, the folk groups, Susan played real guitar the way I always wanted to play. So after, as I said, leaving France, I went back to transfer for the, to Berkeley, and I hadn't left Berkeley, I left Oregon, went to France, came to Berkeley. And as I said to others of you, that was in the, the second incredible culture shock of my life, because we la I landed back in Berkeley after the summer of love, and it was a changed world. Um, was trying to finish my art history degree, that's the other reason I didn't speak very good French then, still don't, but je me débrouille. Uh, uh, we studied as opposed to what we did in the, the Museum of Modern Art where you stood before the Brancusi or the Braque or the Picasso. We went to the fourth floor of the library and looked at eight and a half by black reproductions of the art. And at that point I said, I'm giving up art history and I was much more interested in architecture at the time. And um, long story short, got my uh, undergraduate degree in art history and then a master's degree in architecture. And stayed in Berkeley and San Francisco, started teach. I taught at Berkeley, lived in San Francisco. Um, I had a rent-controlled apartment on the top of Knob Hill with a view of the Golden Gate Bridge and was teaching at Berkeley and decided and was offered a teaching job at USC when I'd always loved Los Angeles. Everybody thought I was nuts, but I packed up my entire life in my Volkswagen convertible <laughs> and drove to Southern California to teach at USC and eventually opened an office in Berkeley, uh, in uh, Santa Monica. And, and then I met Larry and um, moved to Pasadena. <laughs> Um, where I segued from architecture into urban design and planning and was on the planning commission. But always, always, always through my work, both as an architect and as an urban designer, was informed by, influenced by what I learned about living in cities in Paris. And, and you know, to this day, if I give a lecture, I don't, I can't not be informed by what we learned and felt and lived in Paris. So, it changed my life. I love it. I love it still. As I said to Larry when we were walking around today or yesterday, this is a dream come true to me any time I can come back and walk the streets of Paris. And, and at this point in my life, because of my interest in urban design, I, I know that Baron Haussmann was both reviled and celebrated. And I think today we celebrate him. I don't know whether we would allow him to do to Paris what he did then in the same way. Because I think finally today we have become much more appreciative of and celebrate the history and the fabric of cities as they go down through time. That they that they are important to save and be important to um, preserve in our lives today. That's, That's it. it, I think. <laughs>
<rire> car je suis entourée de très bons amis et voilà. D'abord, je voulais vous remercier de nous avoir fait signe avec Jacqueline pour une soirée qui pour nous est très mémorable et pour moi en particulier. I hope you understand all of you or oh, no, my French. <laughs> Otherwise, I can speak uh, English if you prefer. Uh, je voulais vous dire que je pense que vous avez eu de très bons souvenirs pendant cette année passée en France pour qu'après presque 50 ans, vous ayez tous envie de vous retrouver ici. Et cela me touche très très particulièrement. Alors je pense que vous avez trouvé une France bien différente de celle que vous avez connue en 66. Ouais. C'était, vous le savez, euh, l'époque de la reconstruction, l'époque de ce qu'on a appelé les 30 glorieuses, euh, où tout repartait grâce entre autres au fond Marshall, euh, pas simplement grâce aux Français, où il y avait à l'époque de grands écrivains, de grands artistes, de grands comédiens. Euh, C'est certain qu'il y avait une vitalité que peut-être vous n'avez pas retrouvée cette fois-ci. Mais il faut être optimiste et on la retrouvera, je ne dis pas dans 45 ans, <rire> mais euh, j'espère quand même qu'on retrouvera tous ensemble, tout l'Occident, une vision interna internationale intéressante du monde. Et encore une fois, un grand merci. Je terminerai en vous disant que je souhaite que vous veniez nombreux chez moi pour une petite coupe de champagne demain soir. Euh, si vous venez tous, très bien. On sera un peu serré, mais ça ne fait rien. Vous êtes les bienvenus. Simplement, j'habite dans une résidence qui est extrêmement protégé, ce qui est finalement, pour une dame âgée comme moi, très bien. <rire> Donc, bien évidemment, vous devrez appeler l'accueil, qui vous ouvrira le portail, euh, et euh, qui vous indiquera le chemin pour arriver jusque chez moi. Il y a un grand jardin que vous traverserez, vous aurez une autre porte à faire ouvrir, <rire> Mais euh, je vais laisser à l'un d'entre vous ou à plusieurs d'entre vous mon téléphone. Comme ça, si vous êtes perdu, vous m'appelez. <rire> voilà. Euh, J'espère vous voir vers euh, entre 6h30 et 7h, si ça vous convient. Ça sera très modeste, une petite coupe de champagne et quelques petites... Voilà. Un grand merci. Merci. to also tell you that Anita Grossman wanted me to tell you how sad she is she couldn't come tonight. Uh, Madame Chevelle now, but we knew her as Anita Grossman. She really wanted to come. Unfortunately, her blood pressure had gotten too high and she had other health issues and couldn't come, but she sends her best. As does Christine Le Marchand, now Smith who actually lives in New York and would be happy to see any of you when you're in New York. Um, but she had intended to come at the last minute. Various things happened in her family and, and she, she couldn't come either. So they both asked me if I would please send everybody their best wishes and tell you that they will all both wish you a, a wonderful reunion together. And we send them back. Yeah. While we're at it, I, I have um, video here. We were recording everyone's personal statements, and I had a thought that if you wanted to, if you thought it was fun, we could put on Shutterfly some comments to people who weren't here, kind of like a free for all, <laughs> like a Quaker meeting. If you have anything to say to someone, or to, or just expressing some sentiments about the evening, uh, we could just do that. Well, I 
I, I'd like to throw out one more thing. I think there are three people here who did not do one of the bio forms, the questionnaires. And I think that the three of you, <laughs> in, in particular, owe it to us to share with us tonight. <laughs> Ne rien d'autre à je suis ravi que vous nous ayez invité, Françoise et moi, ce soir. Il manque Anita, il manque aussi peut-être Madame Hutt, dont quelques-uns m'ont parlé avec sa personnalité particulière. Et je vais lui téléphoner demain pour lui dire notre réunion. Encore merci. merci.